What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodyB.com and in this video, we're going to style or devise views for our friends app with Ruby on Rails. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to style our devised views. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video we added devise to our Rails app here. So this handles all the user management stuff, logging in, logging out, changing your profile and all that good stuff. And right out of the box, it works really well, but it doesn't look great. So this is the login page. You know, we haven't bootstrapified this yet. If we log in and go to the edit profile page, you know, this doesn't look great. So that's what we want to start to work on in this video. And this will probably take us a little while to do because there's a lot of different forms and pages and stuff, but it will also allow me to show you how to access all this stuff with device. Where is it at in our app? Where we can tinker with it? and uh, explain some of the weird little things involved with it. It's not that complicated, but there's a lot of moving parts to it. So it could be a little overwhelming until you look at it one time and realize, oh, it's not that bad. So let's head over to our code and in our app views, we have this device folder. And remember all of our web page type things, our views are usually in this views folder. We have our friends stuff, our home stuff, our layout stuff. So now we can look at this device and it looks like there's a lot of stuff here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven directories, and that's a lot. But if you kind of break it down, it's not that bad. So mailer, confirmations, mailer, passwords, registration, sessions, shared, and unlocked. Now the shared, I don't know if we need to deal with those very much. Unlocks, I don't know that we need to deal with this. Sessions we'll look at, registrations, passwords, Mailers, probably not, because we're not really worried about mailing stuff at this point. And confirmations, well, let's just look at this. So this is a resend confirmation instruction email. So if you forgot your password or something like that. So we're not going to deal with that just yet. We might look at the mail stuff later. But for now, I just want the basic views for device. Logging in, logging out, editing our profile page, right? So here we have passwords. We can look at this. This is the change your password page. We might play with that. This is the forget your password page, right? It kind of makes sense, passwords. Here we have registrations. We can edit. This is probably the edit profile page. Here is new. So we sign up. This is the sign up page, right? Uh, in sessions, this is the login page because remember, every time we log in, we're creating a session. Just like when we log out, we're destroying that session or deleting that session. Remember, we talked about that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So when you break it down, it's not that complicated. And if you're kind of ever lost and don't know where something is, just kind of click through everything and just read the top. And it's pretty good about saying exactly what these files are. So, all right, let's, let's start with the login page. So we have our form, right? We've got some fields and let's just head back over here real quick and let's log out. And we want to sign back in. Here's the login page and there's these two things. We've got a couple of links and we've got a button. So if we take a look at this, we've got, let's see, a field, a field, a couple of fields. Checkbox. Do we have a checkbox? I didn't even notice. Oh yeah, we got a little checkbox there, right? All right, that's fun. And we've got our submit button and these device links, which are, it looks like a partial. So this is in device shared links. So we will play with the shared links. So here we have all kinds of stuff and we'll look at this later, but uh, whew, a lot of stuff in there. And we're just gonna come through here and do all the things we did earlier in our, let's see, our friends directory when we bootstrapified it. And if we come through here and look, here's the form for that. Remember we did a couple of things in here. We put first a form group and the, the main divs. And then for each item we wanted to do something with, we gave a class of form control. So let's just do that real quick here. So let's copy this, head back over to sessions new and find all the divs with fields. And I'm just gonna put a form group in there, just a space and form group. And let's see, this guy too, this is our checkbox. Okay, 
So that's good there. Now let's head back over to our form partial down here and find, let's see, where did it go? A class, we need the comma, a class and form control. And we might also want this placeholder thing too. So we'll copy this as well. And we're just gonna put this in all the text fields that we find. So we can close this, head back over to our new page, come up to the top here. And here we have email field. And so really anywhere in here, we can just paste this and we don't need this extra comma. So class form control placeholder, and this looks like an email. So here we're gonna put email and we can get rid of this email label if we want. We could just take off that equal to sign to get rid of it, hide it on the screen. Okay, if we come down here, same thing, Let's see the password field. And I'm just gonna right here, pop this in, and this is gonna be password. And again, we could take off this label if we want. The checkbox, I'm not quite sure if we want to do this with the checkbox. I'm going to have to check Bootstrap. But let's see, here's the checkbox itself. Let's just paste it in here and see. We don't want this placeholder. So let's take this off and let's save this and, and check this out to see what this did. We might have to take this thing off of here. I can't remember offhand. Oh, we're getting all kinds of errors. So head back over here, come back up to the top for email and ah, we need a comma after the placeholder. Everything's starting to run together. We'll need the same thing down here. There we go. Okay, so let's save this, come back here, reload this, that should fix that. No, oh, another error, what do we got here? Oh, <laughs> okay, put the comma in the wrong spot. Uh, yeah, there we go. It is all running together. So we want to put it after that. There we go. Did I do the same thing here? No, we look good there. So, okay, let's save this. Reload. That should take care of that. All right. So now, yeah, see, this is a little wonky. I don't care for this at all. So let's take that off. And let's see. Let's come down here to the checkbox. Let's take this off of there. Okay, so save this, head back over here, reload. Okay, so this hasn't been bootstrapified, but if we head over to get bootstrap and click on the documentation, come down to components and then forms and look down here for a check box. Here's this check me out. Let's see. We can give this a class of form check input. Okay, so it's slightly different. So let's come down here and comma. And instead of this, we want that. Okay, so form check input, that should work. So let's save this, head back over here, reload this. Okay, so now it's bopped it over a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why, if that's much better. And if we look on here, it doesn't really look any bootstrapified different, really. So really, in my mind, we could take that or leave it. So I'm just gonna take that off. Save this, come back here, reload. Yeah, I think it looks better like that anyway. So, okay, that's that. Now we've got this login button. We can bootstrapify that if we want. So we could either come down to our friends form and find the button here. Now remember with this one, there's no comma in between here, unless there's text on the button itself. And if we come back over here, you can see there's no comma here, right? But there's text. So after the text, we do have to put a comma. So just sort of keep that in mind. So we got class BTN, BTN secondary. This will give us that gray, silvery kind of button. We can come back over here, hit reload, and boom, that looks good. Now I want some space between these two things right here. So after this, I'm just gonna put, oh, maybe right here, put a line break. Save this, come back, hit reload. Okay, so, all right, we are now bootstrapified for the most part. We can change these if we want. Uh, I'm gonna leave these as they are for now. Well, I'll show you how to do it. We come down to shared. So shared links, and let's look at these links. We've got sign up and forget your password. So just come through here and look for sign up right there. And we can go forget password right there. And if you want to, we could just give these 
a class. Actually, we could just paste it in from uh, that last thing we did. So there's sign up, uh, forget password, same thing here, boom, a comma though. Okay, so let's save this, come back over here. So now these are like that. I don't really care for that that much. So I'm just going to leave these as actual links. So I'm going to take this out and that out, save this, reload it. And now we just have these links, but that's how you would do it if you wanted to do it, right? In this shared links partial page. So, okay, that's one down. So if we go ahead and log in, And then let's see, edit profile. Let's take a look at this one. It says edit user at the top. So we can just kind of look for that. So we come over here. It's not going to be in sessions, but probably registrations. So when you're registering for an account, you're creating an account. If you want to then edit that account, you're editing that re registration. And you can see edit and it has a resource name and it's humanizing it. This is just a sort of a Ruby thing. And so it's it's doing edit user. You could change that. You, for instance, if we wanted to say call this, we could take this off completely and just change this to profile, or we could just highlight this and delete it. But I want to leave it on there, so I'll just take off the equal to sign, so it hides it on the page. And if we hit reload, boom! Now it says edit profile. Whatever you like, you know, uh, that's cool. Now notice how it's already got stuff filled out in here, so that's really cool. I like that. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna come over here to let's see, let's look at our friends form again. Oops, that's not our friends form. There it is. Friends form partial. Come down here, grab all the stuff. So in each div, we want to give this a space and a form group class. So we could just come up here and find each div that has a field in it and pop that in. There's another one. There's another one, and there's another one. And we've got some buttons and stuff. Then we just want to, again, put this form control class. So I'm going to grab this whole comma and probably the placeholder text too. I want to placeholderize these, right? So, okay, this one is email. And anywhere in here, we could just pop this in form control. And this is going to be email. And again, oops, I want to take off the label. So I'll just take that out. Or you could just delete this whole thing. but that works too. And we come down here and find the next one. Boom, foreign control, placeholder. Let's go again, password. And then up here for the label, we want to take that off. And let's see what do we got next here. New password again. So you got to put your password in twice to change it, right? So password. And Take off that label. And let's see, we need your current password. Oh, this is the current password. So pop this in here. And let's go current password. Save this. Now let's take a look at this. Do we want to put all of this inside of there? Maybe. Let's just do that. So up here where it says we need your current password. We could just copy this and put this in the placeholder thing. Maybe. I don't know. Let's take off this label. All right, so let's save this and reload it, see what this looks like. Yeah, this is still there. This is there. It's still a little bit uh, jumbled up here. So I'm going to take this out here of the placeholder thing. And instead, let's just put like we had it current password. Okay, this is looking a little sloppy, but let's finish this real quick. Here we have the form buttons. So I'm gonna come down here to our button, grab this guy again. Remember, we don't put a comma unless the button has text in it, and this one does, so we put a comma. Okay, and this is the cancel my account. So we're gonna come down here, find, where's that at? Here it is comma, instead of BTN secretary, let's put BTN danger, which is a red button, I think. So, okay, let's save this. This might give us an error. Nope, that worked. And we've got this back button again. If we look at it, this is linked to back, 
This is just a link to link. This isn't anything from the shared thing. So if we wanted to change this, we could. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave that. Now, this is all jumbled up here. So after the update button, I'm going to put some line breaks here. So right here, maybe, maybe two of them. Save this. Pop that down. Uh, that looks good. I also want to put a space after this up or before this update button. In my mind, it just looks a little better. Put a line break there as well. Pops that down a little bit. Now, this is still kind of all jumbled up. Maybe we want to put this in a card or something. So head over to Bootstrap, and this is a card. So you could put these. You know, it has a sort of a border around it. I don't know. Let's grab this and just play with this a little bit. So after this, I'm just going to paste all of this in. And maybe we put this in here. And this in here, maybe. I don't know. Let's save this. Reload it. Uh, maybe that looks better. I don't know. So let's take out the old. Here this is. And maybe we want to put another line break here. I don't know. I'm just playing at this point because this is fun. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Go crazy. Have fun. <laughs> Style this however you want. And again, this is just a form. We're just bootstrapifying this. So, okay. All right, here we need, got some space here. Maybe we want to get rid of that. Where's that at? Six character minimum. Where does it say that at? Through here. Right here, it looks like. Maybe I get rid of this line break. That should pop it up a little. Zoop. Okay, maybe that looks better. I don't know. I'm bad at design, so I'll let you play around with this. But this is how we bootstrapify this if you want to bootstrapify these things. Bootstrapify. <laughs> so come through here, look, familiarize yourself with bootstrap. You know, you, we've got cards, we've got all kinds of different things you can do. And it's just that easy. We copy this, put it in our code, and, you know, it just works. Just kind of, ooh, this is nice. Header and footer. I like this. Ooh, let's play with this real quick. Copy. Head back over here. Let's come down here to our card area. Paste this in here. Here's the header, so I'm going to grab this cancel account thing. And maybe we want the H3 thing too? I don't know. Maybe not. And inside of here, let's see, we can just, let's see, unhappy. Grab that. And this will go right here in H5. And then the rest of this will go right here. And then we don't need this. Okay, so let's save this, see what this looks like. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks good. So let's get rid of the other one. So let's see. Let's get rid of all of this. Boom. Save this. Hit reload. Now ah, we're looking good. Cancel the count. That's pretty big. Got it in an H3 tag. So maybe, maybe we'll take that off. Save this. Hit reload. That's a little smaller. Let's go H4. Oops. H4. There we go. Save this and reload. Okay, that looks good. But again, you could just play around with this stuff. And I think I would use these things for all of this because this looks good to me, right? This is kind of cool. Even for like our, let's see, sign back in this page right here, we could add that to all of that. So let's do that real quick. We've got a minute, right? So let's go back to our new registration. Here's the no, that's the sign up. We didn't actually do sign up yet, did we? Nope, we didn't. 
<laughs> I'll leave the sign up one to you. You can bootstrapify it as homework, right? So instead, let's go do sessions new. And I'm just going to paste in all this bootstrap code. And here, let's go log in. But we like H4, right? So we'll put H4. Get rid of that. Boom. The rest of this stuff, I'm just going to copy it all. Highlight it. We'll put the links underneath, maybe. So copy, delete, come up here. We don't really need any special treatment, so we get rid of that. And then just right inside of here, paste all this in, save this, come back over here, cross our fingers. Oh, yeah, that's looking good, <laughs> right? Okay, I like this a lot. Well, look, we just discovered a little something. So, okay, this is looking good. So sign up. Hey, let's go crazy. I know I gave you this for homework, but let's do this one real quick. So sign up. We could do this. We're pros at this now. First, we add a field group to everything. So let's see. That's going to be registrations new. So let's go class field. Boom. Field. Boom. Field. Boom. And this is already we know we're going to be a class of. BTN, BTN secondary. We do that. Let's put our line break there. And then also we want to do the um, form control. So comma form control and placeholder. So we'll come back over here, come to the top. Boom, there we go here. So this is going to be what's email. And we get rid of this label. Boom. This one's going to be password. So we come down here and let's go password. Oh, it already says password. This one's going to be password confirmation. So let's go password confirmation. I don't know. Take this label off. Oh, I think I forgot the label for this one. Yeah. There we go. Take that off. And I think that's it. So let's save this. Head back over here. Sign up, reload. All right, that looks good. But again, we want to add this cool stuff. So let's copy all of this. Head back over here, come up to the very top. Paste it in. Here we just copy this. This goes right here, but instead of H2, we like H4. We've discovered it's a good size. And then the rest of this, we could just copy all of this. And uh, let's see, put it in here. Boom, save it. Reload it. All right, we're looking good. So very, very cool. And pretty easy. Sign in. Edit profile. I'm going to leave this edit profile thing. To, well, you know what? Let's go crazy. We're still <laughs> let's do this again here. So we put this thing head back over here. Let's go to registrations, edit Come up to the very top here. Paste all this stuff in, grab our headers right there. Boom. Get rid of that. That goes there. Change this to H4. And then just grab all the rest of this stuff, but not the um, second card. So we've got some line breaks still there. And we can come up here and paste, save it. All right, now we are looking good. So maybe you want to keep the labels for all these things. So we can come back here if we really wanted to and just come to each one of these. And for instance, right here, we can add back that equal to sign, and now there's our label. Same thing for password. We could boom, add our label. Boom, label. Boom, label. So we save this, come back, hit reload. I don't know, maybe you like that, maybe you don't. I'll leave that to you. But that's how we bootstrapify these device things. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and uh, I don't know, this is fun. This is just playing around with uh, how things look and stuff. And like I said before, I'm bad at design, so you can play around with this and make it look, change the colors, do anything you want with Bootstrap or anything else, really. 
and uh, just that easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, so you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.